Hi lovelies. So today we got to talk mob wives. I'm going to talk about one of my obsessions. I was going to put up another obsessions video that said I'm going to wait until I see that next episode because I want more to talk about. But after this week's episode, I have to say my piece. Okay. So if you don't watch mob wives, what the hell are you doing with your life? It's amazing. I realize it's a reality show and I can't take everything, but just let me have my, my, just let me have this time with my show. Okay. But I will say, I don't like when shows get too phony because you can tell and Mob Wives is one of those shows that like, you can't really tell that often until it's like outside of the show. Like when Karen made a big huff about not being on the show and stuff which, don't even get me started about that bitch because I can't stand her. And now that she's back on the show, it was like, the real bitch is back. And I'm like, uh, no. She's annoying and boring. And her dad was an informant. Like, she sits around and calls people rats and like, this dirty rat and da 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 da. I can't believe she called the cops on me. And I'm like, what? Your dad is an informant, like one of the biggest well-known informants ever. So anyways, don't get me started on her. That's just the tip of the iceberg. So anyways, um, Drita is my ride or die. So don't ever talk shit about her because she's my favorite and I love her, especially when she gets pissed and her veins and her neck start to like come out. That's when I love her the most. And the cool thing about Drita is, is that she is, I mean, she's older, but like I imagine, you know, she's the model and stuff. Like she's pretty, but you can tell she is a girl that has actually been in fights, like big brawl, like been in an actual fight. And the worst fight I ever saw in my entire life was actually between two girls. So, I know that they can get really bad. Natalie, on the other hand, has never been in a fight. Let's just be honest. That girl has never been punched in the face. I have been, been punched in the face. Not in a fight, but I was trying to break up two guys fighting and I accidentally got punched in the face while they were trying to punch someone else in the face. Will I ever try to break up a fight between guys again? No, 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 because I got sucker punched and I got like the end, ed, the, eh, the end of it and my jaw, I had a black and blue mark across my entire face, like people were staring at me like what happened to that chick, I couldn't sleep because my jaw hurt so bad, like mm -mm. you don't play, if you've ever been punched in the face, you are very careful not to ever get punched in the face ever again. So, Natalie, when she's like, I will fight any bitch. Ba, 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 ba. I'm like, who are you fighting with the skinniest arms ever and like long nails out to here? Like, you have never fought, ever. You've talked a lot of shit, I can tell that. But you have never hit anyone, ever. So anyways, but Natalie is not like... I don't hate Natalie. Like, I never was like, oh, this bitch, blah, 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 blah. Because, oh, why do I always forget her name? I always remember her as Junior's wife. Oh, it's and What is her name? Karen and... <sighs> Crap, that is going to so bother me. Because I have a lot to say about her. Because she really bothers me. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The one with the like cheekbones who like contours the shit out of her cheek cheekbones. Um, doesn't say here. Karen, her, Carla. I even remember like people aren't even on the show anymore's names. Um. Anyways, her, she... First of all, nobody fights with Ange. Like, what? I don't like you. No. Nobody says anything mean about Ange. Like, that is the rule of the show. Because Ange, 
as like ridiculous as she looks, she is like the sweetest person and never gets in fights with anyone. Like, have you watched her show? Like people do the worst stuff to her, her employees. And she just like is so nice to everybody. Like do not fight with my aunt. Big aunt, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is why I mentioned the like leave me with my reality shows and like how I don't like when they get like when you can tell something's off. Okay, so when Drita goes to do this model shoot and they have, she has this time with this Natalie person who is a model. I'm sorry, but in what realm is that chick a model and on the same model shoot that she just shot at? Because the two girls that were in that shoot actually look like models and were beautiful. This chick, let's just say she needed a lot of makeup and, um, did you see the models? Like, the models had very fresh face. Like, the one girl almost looked like she didn't have any makeup on, which takes some quite skill. So, like, I know Drita has skills. And the other chick, you, like, all you could pretty much tell is she had, like, a little bit of blush and the lip gloss. But this girl had, like, massive amounts of makeup on. Like, that was not the same model shoot. So, it was totally, like, set up. And I was like, guys, like, really? You couldn't have edited that any better and, like... This girl is like in there with no chin and she's just like hey so yeah I know this Natalie girl you're talking about and then she tells the story about Natalie and I'm like oh. and now I know that this other chick Natalie is gonna be part of the show and I don't like her I already don't like her she first of all they say they don't like when other people just talk about other people because they say that's just as bad as being a rat so like, why is, I know she's, like, being professional, even though it's, like, completely set up. But, um, if it wasn't completely set up and it was just, like, a different shoot or whatever, um, because I will always have Drita's back. Um, but, like, they could have, she's not a model, she's so freaking ugly. Like, if that girl's a model, I'm a freaking model, okay? Like, Exactly. It's just so, oh my gosh, like, what? Um, and she's not even, like, you know how some models, like, look unusual and, like, kind of ugly, like, conventionally, and that's what makes them kind of look, like, cool or, like, aliens? Like, no, this is just, like, an unattractive girl. Um, but anyways, so she says stuff about what Natalie has done, meaning she is a rat, and she calls her a rat. And, like, the thing is, is that I'm getting really sick of everybody calling each other rats because, like, there are actually people that they're specifically talking about that are, that actually did this stuff. Like, that are actually rats. And, like, calling a, the cops on your boyfriend, like, as much as that is, like, really unacceptable in that, this lifestyle and with this group of women and like especially with Drita because like she really cannot hang out with someone that is calling the cops every five seconds because like she punches people in the face so like pretty much every episode she would have someone called the calling the cops on her because like you can call the cops nowadays for someone calling you like names and stuff and like defaming you or whatever but anyways so oh I wish I could remember her freaking name Junior is her oh but anyway, so she, like, walks around on her high horse calling Natalie rattly. Meanwhile, the chick was married to an informant who she calls herself a rat. And, like, who did really disgusting, awful things. Like, was involved in a robbery where they killed an innocent person. Like, not that there's any, like, crimes that are really, like, not awful, but that that's really awful. And she's going around saying, this person's a rat, this person's a rat. Calling Natalie a rat because she called the cops on Karen because Karen said that she was going to, like, have people come after her. And it's like, dude, seriously? Like, those that live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Like, I'm just saying. Like, 
you're in a really, really, really glassy house and you are throwing a lot of stones. So, um, what the hell is her name? All of this is going to drive me nuts and in the comments y'all are going to say her name and I'm, oh my gosh. So, Anne's brought in Victoria Gotti, who, <laughs> we want to talk about clowns. <laughs> Let's talk about clowns. But anyways, she does have, like, the respectability of being Don Gotti's daughter. But the thing is, she, in this show, she comes off as, like, very respectable and very, like, knowledgeable. And she, like, resolves all the issues but if anybody watches another show called The Real Housewives of New Jersey, you would recognize her from that show as well, where she stirred up a whole bunch of shit talking about someone's freaking family. When she's like, you don't talk about people's families. Then no, no, you just don't do that. You don't talk about people's families. I'm like, you talked about someone's family in the most disgusting way possible. On The, the Real Housewives of New Jersey, she said that there was this couple... Vino and Teresa and they went through a divorce and then they got back together and she said that Vino told her that the reason that they had a divorce is that he had sex with her mother. How is that not the worst possible thing you could say about someone's family? Like Oh my gosh. And first of all, like, she's a real person. Like, she's actually John Gotti's daughter. So, like, when I saw that, I was like, what the hell? She was just, like, gossiping. Like, just sitting there gossiping. Like, I'm sorry, but in her father's lifestyle, if you gossip like that, you died. Like, because at the very end, like, Angela or Anne's just saying something like, um... You know, back in the day, like, oh, no, maybe it was, maybe it was Victoria Gotti was like, back in the day, you know, there was no rats, and now they're like a dime a dozen. And I was thinking, uh, yeah, because they killed people that, like, even they thought were possibly informing or gossiping too much or whatnot. And then here she's sitting, like, gossiping. So that's annoying to me because, like, I was just, like, the way they portray her on Mob Wives is, like, royalty and, like, she's, like, so knowledgeable. But then on this other show, she kind of just, like, and I feel like she might have been, no, maybe that, that was someone else on the other, on this other show. But, yeah, it was just kind of, like, mm, I don't like this. So I hope she just goes away. Like, I hope she doesn't, Ange doesn't keep bringing her in or the show doesn't keep bringing her in because, really, I have, like, no interest in her whatsoever. But I have a feeling this new Natalie is going to come into play, into the show, which is, I don't like, because they've lost a lot of people. Um, I don't know why Natalie doesn't bother me. I know probably a lot of people hate her, but she doesn't, she doesn't bother me. Other than the fact that I'm like, every time she starts like, I'll not punch you in your effing face, da, da, da. and I'm like, no, you won't. And then and that's when Drita's like so funny, and she's like, you don't mess around with people when you like, when your face is like beautiful, and that's because she's a model. Natalie is an actual model, um, you know, not like a runway model, but you know, like I'm sure you know the like sexy body model type thing. I'm a jig, if you know what I mean. Um, you, like, don't want to get punched in your face. Like, keep, keep care of that face. Um, so, and Karen and Storm, ugh. I just, every time they, like, talk to each other and are around each other, I'm just like, you are two disgusting people. And, like, I want no part in watching anything about your relationship. He's obviously cheating on you. You obviously care more about a man than you do your child like ugh, ugh. I cannot stand her why is she back and I don't care that she made a big fuss about being back on the show because she has a child and she wants to make money for her child but then I'm like now you're gonna move her across the United States away from her family away from her friends for this douche 
Like, I thought it was going to be, like, a legit guy. Like, she really found someone. And I was like, how is this any different than her ex? Like, is this a different guy? Is this the same guy that I remember? Like, what? It's just the same douche in a different douche costume. Like, ugh. Um, I love Leandrita. Like, I freaking love them. I know people complain all the time that he's, like, so misogynistic and so, like, rude to her. But do you hear how she talks to him? Like, they are so freaking hilarious. I love them. And if you believe for a second that she would let him get away with, like, for real telling her to shut the hell up or, like, that she's a bitch and, like, it actually meaning that, you do not know Drita. Because, like, I can tell you, if he was actually being cruel or mean to her, he would be out on the street. Um, oh my gosh. It, this just has me so worked up. And I can't even freaking remember her name. Oh, but next week looks so crazy. But I don't know what Ann, I don't like that Ange and, what's his, whatever her name is, are going to be fighting over something that her husband did. Unless she thinks that maybe whatever her name is was involved. But I really, really, really don't think that she was involved. Like, I really don't. Like, after she had the whole nervous breakdown, after finding that out, and her father, like, I really don't think she was involved. But I, I have a feeling that her son, whatever happened to her son, is he's going to be fine. Um, but I don't, it doesn't look good. I mean, I'm scared. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, on the tip of my tongue every time I talk to her. I talk about her and, like, picture her. But, um, and then Anne's getting mad at her for something Junior did toward her cousin. It's just kind of really stupid. I don't know. I don't like all this stuff. So, anyways, that's my rant about Mob Wives. And I haven't talked about it in a really long time. So, I'm sorry this was a long video because I had a lot to say. Yeah. I don't think I really talked about it much last time. But, anyways... Hope you guys are making through a stress free day. I love you guys and I will be back to you soon. Bye.